Hi my friends, we continue this extremely important course. We are going to learn something new. Let's do it. Totally unsuitable. When it doesn't suit us at all. Totally unsuitable. Or totally irrelevant. Totally unsuitable. These conditions are really unsuitable for a living. Right. We say for a living. Don't forget to use an article here. For a living. For a living. These conditions are really unsuitable or are totally unsuitable for a living. It implies that we can't live here. It's unacceptable. It is impossible. It's ridiculous. It's utterly ridiculous. Because the conditions are really bad. They are utterly appalling. These conditions are totally unsuitable for a living. These conditions are totally unsuitable for a living. These appalling conditions seem really unsuitable for a living. These appalling conditions seem totally, totally unsuitable for a living. Right. As it just been said, for a living, for a living. These appalling conditions seem totally unsuitable for a living. These appalling conditions seem totally unsuitable for a living. Totally unsuitable. These conditions are totally unsuitable for a living. These appalling conditions seem totally unsuitable for a living. Totally forgot. Or really forgot. Or completely forgot. Totally forgot. I really forgot about it. I totally forgot about it. I totally forgot about it. I'm afraid that I really forgot about it. I'm afraid that I totally forgot about it. I'm afraid that I totally forgot about it. Totally forgot. I totally forgot about it. I'm afraid that I totally forgot about it. Totally agree means fully agree or absolutely agree. Totally agree. I really agree. I totally agree. I totally agree. I totally agree. I really agree with you. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. Totally agree. I totally agree. Right? We can say totally agree or totally disagree. I totally agree. I totally agree with you. Totally shocked or deeply shocked. Really shocked. You know, as far as prepositions are concerned, I hope that you remember that we need to use the preposition by or at after the word shocked. To be shocked by or at. For example, we can say, or I can say, I was totally shocked by the news, or I was totally shocked by his words. Totally shocked. You know, I'm really shocked now. You know? I'm totally shocked now. You know, I'm totally shocked now. You know, I'm totally shocked now. When she told me about all that, I was really shocked. When she told me about all that, I was totally shocked. When she told me about all that, I was totally shocked. When she told me about all that, I was totally shocked. Totally shocked. You know, I'm totally shocked now. When she told me about all that, I was totally shocked. Totally exhausted. Or absolutely exhausted. Totally exhausted. I was really exhausted at the end of the day. I was totally exhausted at the end of the day. I was totally exhausted at the end of the day. I was 
totally exhausted at the end of the day. That trip really exhausted us. As you can see, it can be a verb. To exhaust. That trip really exhausted us. That trip totally exhausted us. That trip totally exhausted us. That trip totally exhausted us. Totally exhausted. I was totally exhausted at the end of the day. That trip totally exhausted us. Incredibly difficult. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I particularly like this word incredibly since there are lots of collocations with this word. Since means because, so it can be used in this context as well. Incredibly difficult, incredibly difficult. You know, it was really difficult. You know, it was incredibly difficult. You know, it was incredibly difficult. You know, it was incredibly difficult. The thing is that it's really difficult. Well, you know, it's one more extremely useful expression. The thing is that, or the fact is that, it's really difficult or it's incredibly difficult. The thing is that it's incredibly difficult. The thing is that it's incredibly difficult. Incredibly difficult. You know, it was incredibly difficult. The thing is that it's incredibly difficult. Incredibly important. Right. Or hugely important. Vitally important. Particularly important. Incredibly important. Incredibly important. You have to know it's really important. You have to know it's incredibly important. You have to know it's incredibly important. You have to know it's incredibly important. You have to agree that it's a really important part of our life. You have to agree that it's an incredibly important part of our life. You have to agree. You have to agree that it's an incredibly important part of our life. You have to agree that it's an incredibly important part of our life. Incredibly important. You have to know it's incredibly important. You have to agree that it's an incredibly important part of our life. By the way, as you might see, there is no real need to use the word that. It can be said with that or without that. It's totally up to you. Well, let's continue. Incredibly lucky. Incredibly lucky. Extremely lucky. Looking back, I can say it for sure that I was really lucky. Looking back, I can say it for sure that I was incredibly lucky. Looking back, I can say it for sure that I was incredibly lucky. It means that I'm absolutely sure, I'm almost absolutely sure. I can say it for sure. The only explanation is that I was really lucky. The only explanation is that I was incredibly lucky. The only explanation is that I was incredibly lucky. Well, look at the way how we build this kind of sentences. The only explanation is that, to be honest, it's a very unusual way of building English sentences at first glance. In fact, native speakers often use more advanced grammar structures, and we are trying to do absolutely the same in this video course. Incredibly lucky. Looking back, I can say it for sure that I was incredibly lucky. The only explanation is that I was incredibly lucky. Well, let's learn 
some more collocations with the word incredibly. If you ask my opinion, I particularly like I mean these kind of expressions since I found them extremely useful. Incredibly boring. Incredibly boring. It's a really boring lecture. It's a really boring lecture. It's an incredibly boring lecture. It's an incredibly boring lecture. It's an incredibly boring lecture. Most of these stories are really boring. Most of these stories are incredibly boring. Most of these stories are incredibly boring. Incredibly boring. It's an incredibly boring lecture. Most of these stories are incredibly boring. Incredibly talented. Incredibly talented. I do think that you are really talented. As you see, an inversion is used here. I do think instead of I really think. I do think that you are really talented or that you are incredibly talented. I do think that you are incredibly talented. I do think that you are incredibly talented. I do think that you are incredibly talented. He is a really talented writer. He is an incredibly talented writer. He is an incredibly talented writer. He is an incredibly talented writer. Incredibly talented. I do think that you are incredibly talented. He is an incredibly talented writer. Incredibly beautiful. So, so beautiful. Incredibly beautiful. She is really beautiful. She is incredibly beautiful. She is incredibly beautiful. She is incredibly beautiful. It's a really beautiful place. It's an incredibly beautiful place. It's an incredibly beautiful place. It's an incredibly beautiful place. Incredibly beautiful. She is incredibly beautiful. It's an incredibly beautiful place. Incredibly complicated means very difficult. As you can see, we use the word complicated instead of the word difficult, whereas we replace the word really with the word incredibly. And we get the expression incredibly complicated. Incredibly complicated. It's a really complicated task. It's an incredibly complicated task. It's an incredibly complicated task. It's an incredibly complicated task. I find this task really complicated. Well, you can say this task is really complicated. To avoid using the structure with the word to be all the time, for instance, we can say I find something and then you develop this idea. I find this task really complicated. I find this task incredibly complicated. I find this task incredibly complicated. I find this task incredibly complicated. Incredibly complicated. It's an incredibly complicated task. I find this task incredibly complicated. Virtually impossible. Or really impossible. Virtually impossible. It's really impossible to predict the future. It's virtually impossible to predict the future. Really, it is impossible to do it. It's virtually impossible to predict the future. 
it's virtually impossible to predict the future. I wish I could do it, but it's really impossible. We see the use of the second conditional here. I wish I could. We're talking about the present, but it's unreal. I wish I could do it, but it's really impossible. But it's virtually impossible. I wish I could do it, but it's virtually impossible. I wish I could do it, but it's virtually impossible. Virtually impossible. It's virtually impossible to predict the future. I wish I could do it, but it's virtually impossible. Virtually certain. When you're really certain. Virtually certain. I'm really certain that it was done deliberately. I am virtually certain that it was done deliberately or it was done on purpose, not unintentionally. So it was planned beforehand. I am virtually certain that it was done deliberately. I am virtually certain that it was done deliberately. I am really certain that it's inevitable. I'm virtually certain that it's inevitable. We can't escape this fact. We can't escape this fact. It's unavoidable. It's or it's inevitable. I'm virtually certain that it's inevitable. I'm virtually certain that it's inevitable. Virtually certain. I'm virtually certain that it was done deliberately. I'm virtually certain that it's inevitable. Entirely sure. Or absolutely sure. Quite sure. Really sure. Entirely sure. To tell the truth, I'm not really sure whether it sounds better or not. To tell the truth, I'm not entirely sure whether it sounds better or not. Well, if you look at American pronunciation, they often pronounce it this way. I mean, better, better. If it's double T, the sound is often D in American English. So, better, 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 instead of better. What we see in British English. Better, or better, better. It sounds better or not. It sounds better or not. If we have a choice, we use weather. So the structure is whether something or something. You have the word or. To tell the truth, I am not entirely sure whether it sounds better or not. To tell the truth, I am not entirely sure whether it sounds better or not. To tell the truth, I am not entirely sure whether it sounds better or not. To tell the truth, I am not really sure if it's the best way out of the situation. To tell the truth, I'm not entirely sure if it's the best way out of the situation. We don't have the word or here, so we use if instead of whether. To tell the truth, I'm not entirely sure if it's the best way out of the situation. To tell the truth, I'm not entirely sure if it's the best way out of the situation. Entirely sure. To tell the truth, I am not entirely sure whether it sounds better or not. To tell the truth, I am not entirely sure if it's the best way out of this situation. My friends, let's continue this extremely important course.